Hi guys, so for today's video I have another Shein haul. If you're new to my channel you might not have seen that I've already done a clothing haul with mainly sort of alternative and grungy clothes and then I've also done a lingerie and underwear haul and that one was certainly a uh, interesting and this is the third video of that little mini Shein series I have bought a load of accessories and jewelry to try out so I am going to say straight off the bat their jewelry and accessories are probably my favorite thing that they have whereas the clothing has just always been so hit and miss so if you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe let me know if you like it down below and feel free to request any other kinds of videos that you'd want to see from me so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is a pair of earrings they are probably some of my favorites that i've bought from there i just absolutely adore them and what i really like about these is that this um this winged heart detail at the top is part of the stud and then the rest is part of the back so that's on the back and then this is the main stud. So I just think that's a really cute feature. They are definitely some of my favorites. So another pair of earrings I have bought are these uh, big dangly cherries. They're actually like quite heavy. I thought they were gonna be uh, a little bit lighter than they actually are. I don't know, they're just, they're quite heavy and I don't really wear heavy earrings because they do just, irritate me and make me feel kind of anxious <laughs> maybe i'd wear them for photos but i probably wouldn't wear them out like all day so next we have a necklace and this one is a little bit uh i don't know some people would find it kind of cringy but i just thought it was really funny and kind of cool and uh, also really pretty so i got it it is this weed leaf necklace but it's like green enamel and rhinestones and uh gold and i think it's gorgeous i love anything blingy and rhinestones weed themed i also bought these big ass earrings and they are gold metal leaves it's funny they have these written as um maple leaves but like that ain't no damn maple leaf these again are kind of heavy i'm not sure how long i would be able to wear them for you can see they do droop just a little bit but not too bad so next up we have this choker this is a very sort of standard gothic grunge e-girl anyone under that sort of category wears one of these really and uh, it's just got a big fat ring on it so this is like the same one that you could find on ebay and aliexpress and all of that and they all have different sized rings but it's all the same kind of components so the next thing i got is this really cute dainty necklace and uh, it has a k on it that also has rhinestones now the funny thing is is that this necklace is available in like every single letter of the alphabet but they had k as the display picture and i was like oh whereas i guarantee if they advertised it with any other letter of the alphabet i wouldn't have got it so it was really adorable so next up we have a ring and uh it is also red surprise surprise it is very pretty so the next item i got is a mask as we all know what's going on in the world i thought it'd be cool to have a pretty one just for the fun of it except what i thought was just a rhinestone mask is actually a net mask and it's just absolutely fucking useless because it has holes in it i don't know why they'd sell this um, I guess you could wear it over a normal mask, that's an option, but who is really, who's double masking? I genuinely thought that it was like a solid mask, so I was very disappointed when this arrived. So next up we have another pair of earrings, it's like a chain but then comes to a snake head and tail and then it has a little dangly coffin. They're not as heavy as they might look. They're a little bit heavy, but not so much that I can't wear them. So I do like wearing these. So I'm gonna take a little break from the jewelry and go on to some sort of like clothing accessories and fashion accessories. Dying to show you guys this. I got a PVC belt with straps. It's got a Velcro middle, which makes it really easy to put on. I don't think I'd wear it with this outfit, but um, maybe with a dress 
and I do like the fact that uh, despite that it has buckles, it is actually Velcro for easy removal. Similarly to that, I have a waist belt that is uh, all mesh and lace. These are just really useful if you have an outfit that you just want to zhuzh up or you've got a dress that just doesn't quite cinch you in as much as you want it to you pop one of these over the top and suddenly you have an elevated outfit again i wouldn't really wear it with this but just so you can see what it looks like on next up we have some sunglasses and they've actually come in a little sheen glasses case which uh, is nice so they're just like acrylic cut in like this red drip and the bottom of the drips has rhinestones on it's a pretty cute design however they're sort of like dripping inwards rather than downwards and it's it's bothering me to look at i won't lie but we'll try them on nonetheless i can't see myself so i'm not sure how much of a twat i look right now but um, they're not sitting like properly. Like, where am I supposed to wear these? Am I not supposed to actually look through them? Ooh, they're kind of cool. The next up, you may have just seen me use this, is this mirror. It's a little hand mirror, very sort of like plastic. I like a lightweight mirror actually, because it's quite annoying trying to do your makeup in something that's quite heavy, because you have to hold it up a lot. Next up, I have some hair bands. And this is a pack of three hairbands and they have little bows attached. Consider me the uh, Jojo Siwa of the goths and emos. Uh, I do like me a high ponytail and uh, I have a massive forehead to match. So next up I have this headband and it is a it's just a silver chain. Pretty heavy. I mean it's definitely metal. It's not the most comfortable, I'm not going to lie. Like it doesn't really sit very well on your head and it kind of just digs in a bit but it was cool for like the first 10 minutes yeah i don't know i don't know about that one however next up we have uh, again another favorite of mine and it is my tiara i actually got this for myself for my birthday because i spent my birthday alone in lockdown and i was like do you know what i want a tiara so i'm gonna get myself a fucking tiara and i can't lie i look cute in it I look adorable. Ah. Okay, so next up we have some gloves and I have not in fact opened these yet. So whilst they're still on the cardboard, I can show you the design. Oh, I like. The seams are doing all sorts of weird things in, inside the fingers, you know. They're, they're really doing the most in there. I don't know. That looks kind of weird to me. So next up I have another pair of earrings and uh, these are also maple leaves but these are a lot smaller and uh, a more suitable size that i can wear i don't know why but i took them out of the packaging tried them on and then put them back on the packaging i guess i didn't lose them but i don't know either way i really like them so next up we have this cute pink necklace with a heart it's like a plastic pink chain definitely nothing heavy and then this little piece here feels like metal i think this bit's metal and it's just been sort of painted like pink i like throwing a bit of pink in every now and again i used to love pink when i was a kid and i still do but i just wouldn't want to wear like an entirely pink outfit probably depends what it is maybe okay so next up we have another pair of earrings and these are a bronze pair these are quite big but they're not very heavy they are very lightweight so for the last piece of jewelry we have this really cool spider necklace and it's quite a large spider pendant it sits really nicely i think it's really cute so the last thing I have to show you is actually a poster and uh, again this is still in the wrapper. It's on like this canvas material. I think I'm going to have to like roll it out and put it under some stuff to flatten out because it's it's very curled. But it's a moth and it says it says abundance. Now my fear is that this is actually someone's ripped off artwork because it's a very dodgy print. So I have no idea whose image this is that they've just ripped off, um, but I'm sorry.
yeah that is all the items i had to show you today uh let me know which one your favorite was below and have a good one and i shall see you in my next video